You can feel the intensity between both sides for this EASHL club matchup after the challenge was thrown down. Enough talk, enough hype. Let's do this. Your first period is set to go. Let's do this. The puck is dropped. We're underway. Toronto's got it in their own zone. Carlson's got it along the wing. Moves it quickly over to Gee. Oh, what a hit check. He got all of that. 
read that perfectly with the poke check. And now he moves it quickly to Dillman. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Icing is the call. We'll get a reset. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still looking for our first goal. The Hawks win the draw. Huge win by the center to give his team an opportunity to get out of the zone after a critical icing. Here's a shot from the point. Wolves got the puck and he's going to hang on. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. Carolina's got the puck in the defensive end. The Kings gain control of it. Curtis plays the puck. Picks off the pass in the defensive zone. Oh, he targeted his opponent and delivers a perfect hip check. Moves it to Carlson. And that got caught up in traffic and goes off a stick. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Into the offensive end now. Pass out front. Scores! And look at that wave. Hang on a second here. I do not think that this is going to count. The official waved it off immediately. Oh, boy. Play set to resume, and you can see they're still frustrated by that non-goal call. Nice job tying up his opponent. And he slides it quickly to Iserman. Toronto's got possession of the puck. From the right side, they gain the zone. Here's a shot. Great chance and an even better save. Yes. They came, they saw, they took advantage of the rebound and score. Toronto's got the opening goal in this game of chess on the ice. Let's see how things change now, Cheryl. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how it unfolds. You get the first goal over halfway through the first period, and you want to kind of find a way to continue that pace and dictate it further into the game. Great positioning by the defender. The Hawks looking against the half wall. Scores! And we are tied. New game here, Pounder. Oh, yeah, it's a new game, James. Uh, but I really like the pushback to get the equalizer. Now it's what they do with that momentum. This next shift, it's critical. Still lots of time left in the period. It's all tied up. The Kings win the draw. Great use of the stick here at center ice. Curtis gains the line and into the offensive zone. Angles it over to Sharkey. What a steal in his own end. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Guy. Scoops up the puck now. Takes it at center. Looks to set up at the point now. The Hogs get a hold of the puck. That's a great heads up play to break up the pass. And puts the body into it a little bumper car hockey. Denies him in close. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point-blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Too many bodies in the way. The Kings take it along the wall. Nice feed from the boards. Wow, the home team is really under pressure, and the fans know it. Both sides lining up for the face-off, and I can think of one padded goaltender who would love nothing more than a quick clear here, Cheryl. Oh, uh, you know it, James, because the puck has been in the offensive zone. Just look at the last shift where they maintain pressure throughout that shift until they got that whistle. So they'll need to continue that because if you're the opponent and you're saying, hey, who's most vulnerable right now? You know it's the goaltender, so you want to keep him hemmed in. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. The Kings will play it in their own end. Picked up along the wall by Guy. And that's poked away. From his own end, he moves it up ahead. First pass leads to the offense. That's a great one. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. Carlson's got it in the offensive zone. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Toronto's got control of it now here in the offensive end. 
From the boards, he takes that pass. Oh, some fans thought that was in, but that went off the side of the net. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Well, it's not good timing to take this penalty, James, late in the frame and a close game at that, but they just got to get to the intermission and then they can reset. A chance to capitalize here on the power play. Well, first power play of the game, James. You want to start with possession and look to get shots to the net. It is the tone setter. Takes the puck. And he takes a shot. And that's off target as it hits a body. Just wide of the net. Gains control of the puck here at the blue line. Denies that opportunity. All sorts of pressure here in the offensive end. They've really turned it up a notch now. Passes to Jersey. Oh, and that was intercepted. Got a good read on it. Jostles the puck loose. Takes the feed. Fires it. Club save. Penalty coming up. Whistle stops the play. Well, tough timing to take a penalty at the end of a period. You want to make sure that you can reset and regroup, but first things first, you got to kill the penalty. A big two-man advantage, a five-on-three as the puck is set to be dropped. All right, there's the end of period number one. We'll take a breather, I'll recharge. The players will too, and we're coming back with period number two right after this. Teams are back on the ice. Both squads gliding into position for the start of period number two. You can tell we're in for a good one because almost every fan is in their seats here as we are still tied with the second getting underway. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. And off the draw at center, they take control of the puck. Carolina's got a hold of the puck. And he slides it quickly to Jersey. The Hawks carry it along the wall. That one misses and will play on. Well, you spend so much time trying to create scoring chances, and when you do, you got to find the back of the net. At the very least, hit it, James. Quick feed down low. Carolina's got the puck along the wall. Quick feed to Iserman. Lead pass ahead. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? Oh, he's one of the best in the game in terms of that butterfly position. And once he drops, he's so agile to be able to slide across the net. And look at this. All sorts of pressure here building. He is known for bailing out the rest of her team in those one-on-one -on -one situations, guys. Her shutdown zone ability is that solid defensive effort and keeping up with her assignments. Here's a short pass to Eiserman. Toronto's looking to break out. Eiserman's got it now deep inside his own end. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Centering feed. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. When your opponent doesn't have the puck, you can't interfere with their forward progress too much. You can cheat a little bit, James, but that's over the top. Man advantage unit is set. An opportunity on their first power play of the game, James. And this is an opportunity to look at the coverage as well. See how they're playing it, whether they're going to be aggressive or sit back. Toronto's got the puck against the half wall. Knocked away. Handles the puck at the point. From a tight angle, throws it on net. And a strong effort on that play. 
stretches one out to Iserman. Picked off. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Deep inside his own end, right in front. Can he get out of pressure? And they managed to clear it. And called for the offside. We'll get a face off. Hope everyone's enjoying the game here tonight. Another big face off here on this power play. Carolina's won the draw in the neutral zone. Moore's got it in the defensive end. Tries to feed it over to Curtis. Toronto's power play expires. Both sides back to even strength here. And we are still tied. Well, that power play needs to have more urgency. All perimeter movement. Someone has to pay the price and get to the most coveted spot on the ice. And that is right in front of the tender. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Thunderous hip check on the play. Carlson's lugging the puck. Toronto's got it along the wall. And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. From point blank. Oh, what a save as he denies them again. Takes the puck behind the net. Quick shot. Blocked in front. Sends it in front. And it turns off a twig in front of the net. Now a quick pass to Jersey. Picks it up. And they turn on the pressure. Takes possession. And he loses control here. Oh, that had a whole lot of nasty behind that. A uh, ton of nasty, James. And that's how she sends clear messages within the game. It's what she's known for. She provides the grit. She provides a competitive nature. And she can lay a hit. Oh, and he lines up. Oh, Redirected in and it's behind the tendy. Well, not surprised here. And I call this the courageous tip, James, because you got to get net front with good time and you got to fight for position. You got to be physical in there and then you got to find a way to execute by getting onto the puck. Carolina's got a one goal lead here in period number two. Uh, and it's been an ugly one, hasn't it, James? I mean, they're lucky to have the lead. <laughs> they, you said it. You they said have it. not had the puck on their stick and this is a real deflator for their opponent. The Kings will play it from the defensive zone. Pokes the puck away. The Hawks have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Oh, she put the truck in truculence there. Yeah, that's not just a collision, is it, James? There is intent around this one. She lined her opponent up. She's so aggressive, and she laid it on thick. Past the halfway mark of this period, Carolina's been the better-looking team over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on this one-goal lead. And they win that draw at center. Sends it over to Iserman. Picks up the puck. And he makes a save there. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Well, the penalty killers are going to have to be the task on this one, protecting that one-goal lead. Toronto's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. A power play that can even the score here, James. It is massively important that they create some kind of momentum in their favor on this one. Orr's moving the puck through his own zone. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. And they get the puck out. Looking to break out here on the power play. Hasn't been a very good one so far. Haven't even registered a shot. The tough, the gated entry. They're going to have to find a way to get in and get set up. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Curtis now along the wall. Freeze it, freeze it. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Knows his team needs a spark here, guys. If he can use his zone ability to get them going offensively, that could be what they need to help eliminate that gap. Toronto's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Scores! And we are tied after that power play, Mark. Well, it's perfectly executed, and the coach has their most skilled offensive players out there for that very reason. They tied the game. Toronto's offensive pressure has resulted in an equalizer here tonight. As an athlete, you always know the end of the period is critical time and you want to maintain pressure and you want to gain momentum heading into the third. That goal did just that. Slides it diagonally to Curtis. Toronto's got the puck against the boards. Quick pass to Carlson. And reads the play perfectly and picks off the pass. 
Grabs the puck at center. The Hawks played along the boards. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Toss it up on the play. Let's see the call here. Anytime you're in the dying minutes of a period, you have to maintain your focus, especially when you're shorthanded. It's all about creating some momentum and killing the penalty. Carolina's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Iserman's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Brings it off the pipe! It's a game of inches, James. That one just misses. Looking high and just hits the crossbar. Carolina's got it against the boards. Puck hops onto the bench, and we got a stoppage in play. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a faceoff? Faceoff here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. All right, we've played now 40 minutes in this one, and still a critical 20 minutes still needs to be played. Go stretch your legs, grab that final snack, because the third period is just around the corner. Two down, one to go. Third period, they're ready to drop the puck. Toronto's shorthanded unit gets off to a good start. They win the draw and take early possession. Can't connect. Jersey's got the puck in his own zone. Nice speed at center, moves up ahead now. Toronto's got possession while undermanned. We got a whistle offside the call. Another big face-off looming as this power play rolls on here tonight. Carolina's won it. Dishes it to Jersey. Moves it quickly over to Iserman. Tremendous stop by Wall. He is so difficult to beat when he drops into that butterfly positioning and gets squared to the puck, keeping his arms tight to his body. Man, it is tough to find the back of the net. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Toronto's penalty killers deserve a pat on the back as we are still tied. Well, when you get the nod to hit, it, hit the ice on a power play, you want to execute at least 20% of the time, and all these players are heading back to the bench, and they're deflated. The Hawks gain possession. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Just an easy pad save made by Wool. Sends one up to Curtis. He got all of that hit. And now it's grabbed by Gee. Great pass off the boards. Carolina's gained possession along the boards. Quick feed to Jersey. And a good heads-up defensive play in the open ice. There's a collision. And he hangs on to the puck. Oh, what a hip check on the old school variety. Beautiful. Excellent stick work on the play. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. We got a tie game. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Handles the pass. Moves 
it to the middle. And that goes off a stick. Taken along the wall by Carlson. Big hit, and that frees up possession. Huge steal in his own end. And now he moves it to Jersey. Toronto's got the puck along the boards. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. And turns it aside with ease. A shot. A chance in front. Stopped by the goaltender. The home team is really under siege here in their own end. Oh, what a save on the play. All sorts of pressure here in the defensive zone. They are on their heels. Back down low. it over there's a collision skates with it and they've got it on their own end here over the half wall another feed and it's picked up by the D moves the puck over to Key looking to make something happen along the boards and it's a quick pass to Curtis and he makes the save. Oh, you can see his body language on that one. He cannot believe that he missed in tight there. It's all about the goaltender getting to position and making the save. Tremendous hip check on the play. The Kings gain possession in their own end. And play continues here. Oh, and he delivers a thunderous hip check. You can feel the energy in the building right now in this tight game. The pressure is on. You have to find a way to embrace it at this moment. He uses the boards with the bank pass. And we take a drive to Clutch City as they take the lead. Well, the lead is in their hands, and now it's about building off of that. Good shift management, dictating pace, controlling the offensive zone. Everything now is on the line. Carolina's got the lead here in period number three. So, Cheryl, do you protect or do you keep on pushing now? I think there's a fine balance here. I mean, you don't just want to play to hold on. You want to attack for the win, James, but you got to recognize where you are on the ice and you got to trust who you put out there. Turn that chance aside. Goaltender spent so much time doing tracking exercises and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from and he makes the save. And now he moves it quickly to Key. Great read as he crouches down to block it. Toronto's got possession here in the neutral zone. Grabs control of it at the point. And they continue to apply pressure here. Takes that pass back at the point. With possession along the wall. Oh, and he misfires on that. Great positioning in the defensive end. The crowd pushing for them to shoot before the clock expires. Gets a stick on it. That's all she wrote from this one tonight. Hard-fought victory in this EASHL challenge. And I guess the lesson in short, Cheryl, don't sing it, bring it. And, and they, they brought it. <laughs> they brought it. They were ready for this game right from puck drop. A lot of urgency in their game. And they win the challenge.